Hello. Welcome to the stream. It's exciting to be here. All right. Here's the deal. Here's the conceit. Here's the thought. Just getting right into it. I am curious. Happy Friday. I I have been playing a lot of Mario Kart DS on my new Nintendo DSi hardware. And my plan is to find out which of the Mario Karts is the most difficult. Because Mario Kart DS has been weirdly difficult in a way that I wasn't expecting. Like, just straight, like, how hard is it to win a race? Mario Kart DS has been, like, has been, like, rough. Has been a rough experience. So my plan in preparation for Sunday's episode is to play through every Mario Kart game and figure out which one is the most difficult. Here's the list at the moment. This is just all the Mario Kart games ranked by when they came out. Uh... Right now, I'm just going to... I'm gonna, Oh, I got to go into the edit list mode. Right now, I'm just going to take Mario Kart DS. I'm going to throw it up top. And we'll see if other stuff is more difficult. Here's the thing. I think, very quickly, Super Mario Kart is going to be the most difficult. Is Mario Kart Tour omitted because it's too easy or too hard? Uh, it's omitted just because it's like a mobile kind of gotcha game. Uh... I mean, it's like it's fine. It's a, it's a fine it's a fine Mario Kart game. I played enough of it, um, but I don't consider it like mainline mainline Mario Kart uh, TBH. So I do I want to make I want to make two two things clear. Number one, uh, I can't play Mario Kart Seven because I don't have any way of capturing Mario Kart Seven and putting it on stream. Um, I have played it. I don't think it's that difficult. I don't think it's going to be towards the top of the list anyway, so that's cool. The other one that's really bumming me out is I couldn't get Mario Kart Wii to run, um, which is a bummer. So these are the two that I won't be able to play, Wii and 7. Uh, I'll try my best to place them. I think I'll need your help, chat, to figure out where they're in uh, uh, in the list. But uh, for now, the plan is Super Mario Kart 64, Super Circuit, Double Dash, DS, 8 Deluxe, um, in that order, and we're going to see how it goes. Just rocking out to the Super Mario Kart music. Anyway, uh, just dipping into Super Mario Kart real quick, um, that game, I don't know if that game is, is hard, but um, it is definitely unwieldy. You know, it is a first attempt at a Mario Kart, and for that reason is like, a little bit more difficult to control than usual. So, we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, right now, I guess, why not? Here we are. So, here's what I'm thinking. I think, I think every, I think every game, so, you know, looking at this one, we got one, we got 50 and 100 CC. I don't know if you unlock 150 in Super Mario Kart. Um, but at least every Mario Kart game has 50 and 100. So I'm going to go with 100, being like the, the medium of most Mario Kart games. Uh, and that's that's how we're going to start here. Uh, so let's see how it goes. Now the big question is who do we play as? Look at Yoshi just like perpetually... Luigi's power is he randomly gets star power. That's good information. So what you're what you're saying, Steven, is by playing as Luigi, I can just take him off the board entirely. And then I don't have to contend with that. That sounds good to me. Look at this. A little spinning animation. We're gonna do it. Same character in each game. I could do that. 
controlled variable. Yeah. Oh. I don't know the controls <laughs> on the Switch. <laughs> uh, I'm playing. I'm playing the uh, Nintendo Switch. Can you drift in this game? No, you can't. Okay. I'm playing the Nintendo Switch uh, SNES Classic version. This is, this is not starting well, but also it's just the beginning of our experience here. I don't even know uh, how to use an item with this controller. Let's see. I'm glad, I'm glad I know how to jump, though. Why jump, I wonder, in this game that is very flat? There we go. Oh, you can drift. Oh, shit, Mario's got a fucking star, too. Oh, never mind. I also have a star. I'm in second place? Oh, hell yeah. Dude. Oh, you see that? Mario's trying to get me. I will not be got. Oh, shit. That's fine. We're good. Final lap. Oh, egg. Oh, my God. That egg scared me. That egg got in my head. Oh, my God. It's raining eggs. Hallelujah. All right, we're good. Oh, no! <laughs> The egg! Egg mind games! Holy shit! That was, that was brutal. Wow. Alright, revenge, now. Alright, can you do a super start in this game? It's usually like here. Alright, so that didn't happen. This game is very nostalgic for me. I love the music. Yeah, it's it's really good. Even today. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, I feel I, I feel like my plan is I gotta play enough of these games to, like, get an understanding of uh, just, like, the overall difficulty, you know? It's kind of my, kind of my plan here. Um, so, you know, that, that might be one cup. That might be two cups. That might be three cups. Dude, the eggs. Oh, shit. Oh, I, I can't, like, let the item trail behind me. Okay. That's good to know. See, they, they learned a lot when they made this game. Ooh, you see that? I just jumped over that. Yoshi's very good at throwing eggs on the on the ground. No blue shells yet, thankfully. That's a that's a godsend. Well, eight eight online is gonna be the hardest one. Dude, get rocked, Yoshi. Eight online is gonna be the hardest one because people have pro strats. Oh shit, people have pro strats. Mario, dude, get out of here. All right, all right, all right. Oh no, oh no. All right, no, this, this, this is a good spot to be in, actually. Whoa. Dude, this egg. No egg, says I. All right, all right, all right. Wah -ha. Okay. That was a little dicey right at the end there. That was kind of the thing about uh, Mario Kart DS was uh, they were just like super hard online because everybody had like weird pro strats. Yeah, yo yo look at that. Neck and neck with Yoshi. This is intense. Oh shit, all right. The ability to fall off the level is gonna create some issues for me. I, I can tell already, but uh, we'll see how we do. I would love to get a banana here. I feel like this is a, this is a good spot for a banana. Oh! <laughs> okay. So here here's... Open question. I thought I was going to nail myself with that. Uh, oh! 
not going well. This, this is classic Mario Kart situation here. Uh, open question. Is it fair to say that this one is the most difficult just by nature of... What does the feather do? Oh, it lets me jump. Okay, like a super jump. I guess I can, like, whack people while I'm in the air. Is this the last lap already? Oh, there's more laps. Okay, good. No! I was trying to avoid it. I promise, I was trying to avoid it. Oh, man. All right. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God! All right, you know what? We're just doing it. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. This <laughs> has been a misery, this race. Okay, here's my thought. Is it is it fair to say this is the hardest Mario Kart if it's just hard by dude? Oh my god. Horrible. Just by virtue of it being like older and they like didn't quite have it down yet. Oh, I got to hit a retry button. Cuz I didn't even place. All right. I mean, I'll try it again. But how do, how do we feel about that? I feel like that might be unfair. Objectively, like, maybe the answer is yes there. Although, I mean, I'm... I didn't even get to finish gloating, and I fell off the level. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Well. Yo, Mario. Don't do that to me. Okay. Woo! Oh, come on! <laughs> I was trying to use the item! Is this really happening again? Why won't the item work? There it is. That was weird. Oh, shit. Can I just retry again? Or should I stick with it and uh, see what I can do here? Oh, God. I've never felt less confident than while playing this game. And again, I'm trying to figure out why did that red shell just bounce off of Bowser's ass? That doesn't seem okay. Oh, my God. I think it's fair if you're going purely by difficulty. It's definitely a matter of being difficult for unintentional reasons or intentionally challenging by design. Yes. That's kind of that's kind of where I'm flip-flopping here, right? Like, when I feel like I have a handle on this game, like in my first lap before, it felt like mostly okay. But the moments in which I felt like I, it was getting difficult were like, not because the, the game was trying to challenge me, but like because I, I am just having a hard time playing it. Oh, egg. See, that was just, that was just a good egg. Oh, I just saw Mario jump over that egg. That was very interesting. I keep thinking that the feather is gonna let me, like, knock a dude. Oh, shit! See, Yoshi's jumping over his own egg here. That's interesting. Alright, all right, there we go, there we go. Oh! Ooh -hoo. like zoning in there we go there we go there we go it's 
It's really good, the music. Wow, they're really counting that towards my towards my point total. Hmm. It's very interesting. The thing I'll say about Mario Kart DS, which I don't want to say too much until we like get to it, um, is I've been playing it a lot, and I feel like I've like figured out how it wants me to play. This is like almost illegible visually. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, <laughs> uh, I I figured out how it wants me to play. I've locked into the controls, uh, and yet I'm having a pretty hard time with it. Uh, because the because I think the game is just harder. This is unbelievable. This level. Stop throwing eggs, my guy. <gasps> you. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, shit. All right. Oh, that was worth a shot. I felt good about it for a second. What? Okay. Here's a good thing to have in the pocket. Yeah. 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 Oh, not good. Not good to bounce against the, the level. I love that they have this... Um, backwards camera that just kind of is like dynamic that's like a really really interesting choice like oh pay attention to this you got somebody coming up behind that was close okay So, yeah, so I guess, like, the, qu the question becomes, like, is contending with older game design valid to say is part of a game's difficulty, I guess? Oh, my God. 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 Oh. I really almost fumbled it right at the end. That was going to be a mess. That was going to be really bad. All right. Hey, look, we did it. I'm gonna do another cup in Super Mario Kart. I feel like I'm like starting to get a better handle of it, especially after beating that last one. Oh, there's more. I thought that was, okay. I thought that was it, but it wasn't. Oh, we're back. Is this not the first level again? It might not be. Oh, look at that. This is different. This is a different place. Yoshi. The hell, man. It's like Yoshi's jealous that I hang out with Mario sometimes. And here's Mario trailing behind, yelling that he'll hang out with both of us. Ugh! Brutal. Bowser, you're not even part of this. I have to, I have to get more comfortable with drifting in this game. <gasps> okay, this is this is getting a little manic for me. I have to focus so hard in this game, just on like what is a track. Get out of my way. Okay, okay. That fireball. The stuff that people leave on the ground in this game also just feels like it comes out of absolutely nowhere. Alright, let's uh, get Mario out of here. There we go. Alright, so e even if I don't... Oh, beat Yoshi. Oh my god! Okay. 
Now where does this net out for us? Points wise. This game is very tense, I agree. Okay, okay. Cool. Oh, hello. <laughs> Look at Luigi. Double fist in champagne? Hell yeah. Congratulations. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try one more. I'm gonna stick with Luigi. I'll play this a bit, see how I'm feeling about it. And then, uh, and then we move on to Mario Kart 64. Uh, also Nintendo Switch version. It's very nice. That, uh, what? Th oh my god, three of these games are available on Nintendo Switch right now? It's pretty cool. Okay, Donkey Kong. Come on, man. This is brutal. I didn't know that the lightning bolt was in this one. That's fun. I could just rock all these dudes. Oh my god. There we go. Wow. That was a very easy way of uh, getting into first place. This music is a little bit too chill in this one. Oh my god. I just hit my own banana. Wow. So quickly. My notion of what the hardest Mario Kart was thrown out the window. The thing about DS that I'll, I'll still stick with though. <gasps> oh! I gotta see the times. Show me the times. 131.93. That was wild. This game still has the heat, which I love. I'm really appreciating that about this game already. Here's the thing, I don't know how often I'm gonna come back and play Super Mario Kart. I didn't really play a lot of it in the past. But it has the heat. And that's the that's the highest compliment I can give it. Although maybe it'd be fun to be like really good at Mar Super Mario Kart. Oh, this is a really short level. This is essentially Baby Park. Oh my god, the eggs! Okay. Oh my god. I'm trying, I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard. Okay, 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 okay. Got coins. See, all the, all the computer players know to jump over the Yoshi eggs. This is not looking great for me at the moment. I'll admit. Oh my god. Totally whiff that. Oh wait, I can, I can still come in a second. There we go. There we go. It is a me. Luigi.
right, tied with, tied with Yoshi. Nice. I do like uh, about this game, we got Donkey Kong in his like original strongman outfit, which is fun. We got just like a Koopa. I appreciate it. I think it's like Donkey Kong Jr. too, specifically. Oh my god, how did that not hit? Oh my god, I mean, I know how I didn't hit. It. Oh, I hit myself again! Jeez. This level in particular is rough. This is pretty wild. But this is what they're asking me to do. I'll say this much. Video games were hard in the 90s. No bones about it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even move. Bowser is an immovable object, even if he's spinning out. I cannot go past him. That's unreal. I don't know what happened there. Alright, 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 alright. Oh no! Is there anything I can do? Should I like jump? Okay. This keeps happening. I don't know. I don't know how. Like whenever Peach hits me, I think it's Peach doing it. <laughs> oh my God, this is brutal. I think I might have seen everything I need to see from Super Mario Kart at this point. Yikes! That was pretty wild. If I do say so myself. All right. How about this? Uh, I'm gonna go back to this. Oh my god! Yeah, look at that. Also, the silence. The silence by itself is pretty. It's pretty hardcore. All right. Let's look at this. I am I am comfortable throwing this up here at this point. Best music. Mario Kart best music ranking. Uh Super Mario Kart wins. Uh I I think Super Mario Kart might be the most difficult one. Unintentionally. Which is going to have to be the, the constant caveat when talking about these games. Unfortunately. But you can't talk about something as subjective as difficulty uh, without having a bunch of personal caveats. Caveats. I think I threw a B in there for Brendan. Um, cool. Let's uh, move on. to uh, 64. I'm kill this music. Actually, no, I'll, I'll leave it going for a second. Just because it's really good.
Sorry, I'm setting up a bunch of uh, stream stuff. Thank you for recommending Backlogged. I've been looking for a site like that for forever. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah, I look, it's good. It's a good website. I'm a fan. Uh, there was a long discussion in the Discord about it. Um, which one was uh, which one was the best? And it kind of just depends on your own personal preference, really. Uh, for me, Backlogged was like very quickly the obvious choice. of all of the options that I had used. And I've used a lot of them, to be clear. All right, I'm loading up Mario Kart 64. All right, here we go, it's happening. All right, so years later, Mario Kart 64 comes out. A pretty shocking step up visually from uh, from Super Mario Kart being the direct sequel. Uh, only a few short years later, this is four years later. Super Mario Kart was 92, uh, and this is this is 96. Uh, pretty pretty wild. Uh, let's see how it is. I don't remember this one being particularly hard but uh we'll see it might it might also have like you know older game 90s uh energy i press on button already difficult can't figure out what button to press all right we're sticking with 100 cc we're sticking with luigi donkey kong's got his like more, uh, I guess, colloquial look. You know, his tie, it's good. Wario's in here now, it's fun. No Koopa, replaced with Wario. All right, let's go with Luigi. Select map. Uh, man, I love these so much. Uh, I feel like we I feel like we gotta start with if I'm playing as Luigi, I gotta start with Luigi Raceway. Alright. I also have to remember how to play the video game. Alright. Here we go. Does that give me a boost in this game? The music just went away, which is interesting. <laughs> See you, dude. Yeah, already. This game feels like left bumper turns it on and off. That's really weird. Look at look at this long ass drift. Look at that. That was an accident, but uh, it looked really good. Oh, oh! I can hit myself with a green shell in every Mario Kart game that we play tonight. It's possible. More likely than you think. I'm a Toad's Turnpike apologist. I get that. Toast Turnpike is great. Do people not like it? Is that a take? Oh shit. I do love that every time you load up a game of Mario Kart, even the same game of Mario Kart, just like a different cup, different speed, different everything, they just like pick a rival for you. Oh, 
slow. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> Everyone I played with gets mad when I choose Toad's turn pike. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I like Toad's turn pike. I won't get mad at you, Steven. If we're playing and you choose Toad's turn pike. The risky move of going for the Rainbow Road shortcut when racing against friends. Yes. I have... Probably never pulled it off in my whole life. In like a real... Oh shit. Like a real scenario. I <laughs> keep turning the music off by accident. Whoa! There it is. Oh my god. What is that? This is chaos. Oh my god, I haven't even gotten an item. Oh no! I'm gonna get hit with those moles too in every Mario Kart game. They put them there just for me. So one day some idiot's gonna stream all of these games in a row on something called the internet and hit every mole in every game we make. <laughs> God, look at how fast Wario's going. Look, look at him on. Look at this little uh, flashing dot. This is my. This is literally my only shot. Is if I can. That didn't work. All right. I am not catching this guy. Here we go. Like, how is Peach going as fast as me, while I have boosts? Oh God, that was close. All right. I hope everyone's having fun. Koopa Troopa Beach. All right. This is the one we did the other night when uh, the N64 collection came out. Whiffed whiffed on that item box. I, I feel 0% confident drifting in this one. It's not looking good. Alright, 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 alright. Do you like hearing me press the wrong button to use an item every single time? Alright, one. Oh shit, I was really trying to use all three of these. To great effect. Sorry, is Peach really that far ahead of us? That's amazing. Isn't the rubber banding in this game notoriously ridiculous? Uh, it might be. I forgot that was even an aspect of Mario Kart games, but probably right so what you're saying is I'm great at Mario Kart and the computer is adapting to how great I am thank you I know that's not the case the only Mario Kart that I will like actually say I'm good at is Mario Kart 8 and that's like until I go online and then I'm not good anymore <laughs> But I've played enough of that game to uh, almost have like muscle memory for pretty much everything that can happen. The same way I do with like some roguelikes. I can't tell if I'm getting boosts off those drifts or not. I have to imagine I am. Yeah, 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 do it, try it. <gasps> oh shit. Shit. 
Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Damn. Oh, burn, burn, burn. Okay. What's next? This one's got the train. Oh, great music. I did not hit the brakes fast enough. Okay. Yeah, just eliminate yourselves. That's great. Look at Donkey Kong. Where do you come from? Oh my god. I'll keep doing it. I like that Yoshi's Company has like a paw print. So this is the game that kind of like started the whole, all the coins you collect in the Mario games actually are currency thing. And that Mario is actually like a like a billionaire who owns Mario Kart. This world's like Formula One race, which I love. I love that theory. It's very dumb in just the way I personally really appreciate it. Can you look at the mini map and just see how far ahead of everyone Donkey Kong is right now? There is no catching that dude. Can you go on the train tracks in this level? The mini map is implying that that's possible. I don't like where. Okay, that, that was nerve wracking for a second. Ooh. Goodbye. I also don't like uh, that I can't see what item they have. That that's a really great inclusion in future Mario Kart games. Look at how far ahead. Oh, I went right into that. I was really trying to look at Donkey Kong on the mini map. Wario's <laughs> uh, like right behind me. All right, we're fine. Everything's okay. You can go on the train tracks, but there's no benefit. It's interesting. Oh, that was it. Here's the thing I'll say about about Mario Kart 64. I don't think it's um, I don't think it's super difficult. I think if I played it more, I would get a better handle on it. Uh, the drifting feels a little weird, but um, it doesn't feel hostile in the way that Super Mario Kart felt. Um, in in fact, it feels like they made it simpler on purpose which uh, is good and was a benefit. I mean, this was the one, at least as far as I knew growing up, for Nintendo people, like, this was the one for everybody. Um, I was not a Nintendo person at the time. I played at a friend's houses sometimes, but uh, I think this was the one that turned Mario Kart into, like, a franchise, like a, you know, top-selling, this-is-going-to-be-it-forever kind of experience. So, not towards the top of the list, but not not towards the top of the list, is what I'll say. I came in first. I'm talking like I didn't come in first. I came in first. I should acknowledge my successes, is what a therapist told me once, years ago. All right. Uh, let's go back to the ranking. Let me mute this. And bring back other music all right so
So right, I mean, right now, just based on the way the list is going, we've only played these two. But Mario Super Mario Kart is harder than Mario Kart 64, is where I have netted out. Um, let's keep going. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna set up Super Circuit, which is not too unlike Super Mario Kart. But I also have had a lot of experience with recently on the Game Boy Advance for the show, for the Game Boy Advance bonus. I gotta switch some HDMI cords, so give me a, give me a hot second. Mario Kart Super Circuit. I have to remember how the controls work with a controller on this one. Okay, that's already not what I was hoping for, but we'll, uh, we'll deal with it. B and A are switched, but I'll live. All right, 100 CC. Luigi. Same exact characters as Mario Kart 64, which I think was probably a smart move. When did this game come out? Uh, I want to look this up. Uh, 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 uh. This was 2001. Wow. A long time between games in this case. 96 was the last one. Wow. That's very interesting. All right. Uh, I really love this game. All right. Here we go. We're fi finally in the Waluigi era. There he is. Oh, I gotta play the game. Oops. Man, I hope so much that they put Game Boy Advance on the Switch eventually. Imagine playing this one multiplayer online. How wild would that be? The thing about this game, and I, I said this in the in the bonus episode, the GBA bonus, but the thing about this game is that Oh shit. It just is like Mario Kart in its basest form. Essentially like refined to the point where like you can't you can't really get the basics down any better. Um Oh my god, I'm having a really hard time with it. It's it's real like loose. A lot of these turns are much looser than I'm expecting. Um But especially in the face of Super Mario Kart, which, like, this game shares most in common with. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Um, this game just feels like Super Mario Kart, but, like, it holds up. It's kind of my take. Cross my fingers for GBA and GameCube. Yeah, I don't look. I love I love to dream too. I would love so much for GameCube to happen. I don't I don't think it's happening. 
I think the best we're gonna get is gonna be Game Boy and Game Boy Advance. Maybe as two se oh, come on. <laughs> Maybe as two separate things. Why is it making that noise? Oh, because I didn't have any coins. Um... The big, the big miracle I'm thinking about, as far as Game Boy stuff is concerned, is if they include uh, Pokemon games in there. Because if they have Pokemon games in there, if they, like, say, like, hey, that's really actually going to get people to sign up for Nintendo Online, which it would, to be clear. That, like, actually would. I, I know a lot of people are, like, you know, kind of waffling on the uh, N64 and Sega Genesis thing, but... You do Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, and the Pokemon games are there day one, or you even promise that the Pokemon games will be there at some point. No brainer. I'm oh, sure you're supposed to like jump across all those. Um, I th I think that that would absolutely sell like gangbusters. Um, the thing about GameCube, as much as I would like it, I just feel like. Nintendo's MO at the moment, from what I'm seeing, and as I've said many times, and as people say constantly on the internet, like, you can't you can't look for trends in how Nintendo does stuff, generally. Uh, but it just seems like they're really interested in, like, remaking GameCube era stuff right now. Uh, and by right now, I mean, like, over the past couple of years. Like, interested in remaking it. or, like, porting it as its own separate thing. Um, wow, I nailed somebody with that backwards shell. That's sick. Um, but to be clear, again, I, like, I, I would like that. I do want that also. I would love a GameCube thing on there. I'm surprised that we got... I'm surprised that we got... Uh, N64. I thought we were going to kind of work our way up, was my thought. It was like, next was going to be Game Boy and Game Boy Color. And then after that, was maybe going to be N64, and then Game Boy Advance would be maybe the last one. I cannot believe that that green shell hit. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Gaming, you know? So good. Got in the zone for that last lap there. On one hand, I'd like GameCube. On the other hand, if it gives the Smash community a new legitimate way to play Melee, <laughs> I don't know. If that's a light, the timeline I want to live in. <laughs> I look. I spent enough time. Like, watching Melee, playing Melee, just, like, seeing what that community is all about. Uh, I, I spent enough time doing that that I know for a fact that if they ever actually just, like, rocked Yoshi with that banana. I hope we all saw that. Um, if a new legitimate way to play Melee did come out, on the Nintendo Switch, if they remade it or ported it and had, you know, good online netcode, etc., etc., uh, the Melee community would still find a reason to play with GameCube on a CRT monitor. Yeah. Th this is a community that obsesses over new techs that take literally specific numbers of frames to pull off. And relearning how to do all that stuff uh, would, I think, maybe kill them. 
I think they would literally rather die. They are so chained to that video game that uh, I don't e I don't even know. There's I, I don't think there's any out for them. I'll say this much about Mario Kart Super Circuit. That shit was very easy. I didn't even have to think. <laughs> How much of that came from uh, having played a lot of this very recently for the GBA bonus? I don't know how much, because uh, currently I'm playing with an Xbox Elite Controller Series 2 with one paddle uh, and not on my Game Kyle Advance. But that said, um, it wasn't very difficult. So I, I, th I think I can just hop right out of this one, if I'm being totally honest. And go back to the cart ranking. Let's, uh, let's take a look. All right, Mario Kart Super Circuit, it's going right there. Uh, what's next, though? Next is Double Dash. Or is next DS? No, next is Double Dash. All right. Cool. Let's uh, back out of here. And uh, load up Double Dash, then. Wow, we're flying through this stuff. I was expecting the stream to be much longer. I mean, I could be playing more of these games, to be sure. Uh, but I feel like I'm kind of getting... what I was hoping for uh, pretty quickly, if I'm being totally honest. All right, let's... Uh, double dash. Here we go. All right. I'm very interested to revisit Double Dash. I'm loving this intro already. A lot of characters. Now, in talking about the difficulty of Mario Kart Double Dash, <laughs> okay. Good start. Oh, I didn't want records. Let's go. This game's having some issues. Luigi. So we gotta we gotta have Luigi. I feel like I mean I, I gotta pick my guy. We'll see, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I have not tested how well this game runs. Let's see how it goes. I mean, it seems like it's doing okay. Uh, Waluigi's very smooth in a way I maybe take umbrage with here. I went right to that man. How do I use items? <laughs> I got a bigger guy. I know how to switch, that's helpful. There we go, there we go. Okay. Honestly, that could have been worse. Oh no! Are we doing okay? We're in fifth. Damn. Oh my god. I'm like magnetized to bananas in this game. I threw that backwards back. So I mean Alright, here we go. Alright. 
Oh my god. Unreal. Oh shit. I'm gonna throw that bomb behind me. This feels like a good move. There we go. There we go. Now we're making progress. I like the feeling of slowly getting a better handle. Okay. You can give me the giant banana. I like the feeling of slowly getting a handle on these games. I'll say this much. They feel remarkably similar from one to another. There's not a lot of learning that I have to do from one to the other. Ooh. Outside of Super Mario Kart, which was uh, rough. Oh yeah, this is like actually, dear viewers, maybe my favorite song in all of these. Oh, it's really good. Cool. Let's uh, let's keep going. Double Dash as, like, the weird high-concept one, like, totally tracks for the GameCube. <laughs> it's, it's my... Kim, it's my favorite song. Like, ever. used to be a big fan of uh, Sister Psychic by Smash Mouth, but now it's definitely the uh, You Finished a Race song in Mario Kart Double Dash from Nintendo Game. I do like uh, Luigi driving and Waluigi just as like the item liaison. <laughs> I think that's a I think that's a fun dichotomy between the two of them. Like I could be switching more, but there's something about Luigi being like no no or about Waluigi being like no 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 no. You don't get it. I need to be the one to destroy them that I like really appreciate. And I think similarly, Luigi would feel very strongly that he should be the one to drive. I can't put that with um, every single one of those item boxes. I'm in second, but I still feel pretty good. Also, this is uh, not too dissimilar from how the last one went. There we go. Where'd that shell come from? There we go. That was pretty comfortable. That was a pretty comfortable win. This might be another one that we can just fly through. We'll see. Okay. This, this, I love... Double Dash is great. Like, if you were to just rank the Mario Kart games, Double Dash goes up at least one or two slots purely because it introduced us to Baby Park. I've whiffed the uh, intro on all of this. Like, Mario Kart is already where friendships go to die. Baby Park specifically is like... Rethinking if you even liked your friends in the first place. You know, like... 
Maybe they weren't so good after all. Maybe I should have seen the signs. And then you ended up in Baby Park. And the signs became evident. See ya. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Baby Park. Oh, that's a big banana. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I thought that was the last lap. The music just gets faster every time you go. All right, let's see. There we go. Nailed that. That was helpful. And the Pantheon of Mario Kart music of the song is not great. I agree. It's No Sister Psychic by Smash Mouth. And it's no this song. The uh, the store by me had one bottle left of my favorite sake. It's called Phoenix. It's really good. It was in the fridge too. It was already cold. It's really happy. All right. Next course. It is a pretty label. I originally ordered it purely because it was a pretty label uh, at a ramen restaurant I was at once. Um, and then also found out it was my favorite kind of sake also. Uh, so just kind of like wins upon wins, really. Immediately, this course feels riskier than the others, but I don't know. If I, if I can survive Baby Park, I can survive anything. That's kind of my thought. Oh, no! I thought that those three mushrooms were absolutely gonna help me get through that uh, Sarlacc pit. But... Yeah, it's not. Love that. Oh man, that shouldn't be allowed. This is my. Ah, I got a message from Xbox. Probably should have turned this off. Oh, wow. That's pretty hardcore. Even though 8 has a type design, I wouldn't be surprised if it has to be one of the harder ones. That, that's where my uh, personal life experience definitely gets in the way. I don't know if I can judge Mario Kart 8 even 1% objectively, having played as much of it as I have. I played far too much of that game. This is getting chaotic. You know, you know this is everybody's favorite Xbox exclusive? Mario Kart Double Dash? This is the last lap, right? Oh! Jesus. learning levels being a larger learning curve in that game. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, the, the, I mean, the levels are, like, visual feasts, you know? So... 
Mario Kart Double Dash. Not that hard. Ranking alongside the other ones, I think, is going to be difficult, though, already. I'm interested to take a look at that list. Here's the thing. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's easy to rank the Mario Karts just by like how good are they? B B B Great. I sure did. Oh, you know what? This this is gonna be our ranking music. Thoughts on candy corn? I like it. I'm a fan. Uh, another hard one to judge is Mario Kart Wii because what makes that game difficult is the items being wild, constant, even more than expected. Yes, I do remember that specifically being one of the reasons people disliked it. Maybe, and this is again unfortunate that I can't play this one. It's the only one I can't play. Or sorry, that one in the 3DS one, which I can. I could go play it in another room, I guess. I go get my 3DS and play it, but um, and maybe I will actually in anticipation of the episode. But the Wii one, I really wanted to check out. Like I really wanted to play that uh, for this, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Anyway, let's take a look at this list. All right, let's uh, save changes, smash the refresh button. All right, double dash. The thing about double dash is that it's, okay, I'm gonna place it and then I'll explain why. Right now, of the ones that we've played tonight, Super Circuit 64, double dash, Super Circuit. What? Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart 64, Double Dash, Super Circuit. The reason I'm putting it over Super Circuit is that Super Circuit feels like Super Mario Kart, but like refined and streamlined to the point where anyone can pick it up and play it. I mean, there's a reason that that game is kind of like a holy grail Game Boy Advance game. Um, Double Dash, even though I don't think it's as easy, or sorry, as, as difficult, um, One of the big things about it is that it's mechanically dense in a way that the other ones aren't. The addition of a second person, uh, they add a bunch of like weird carts and stuff. Everybody's got special items again, just like in Super Mario Kart again. Um, a whole bunch of buttons, switching characters, who's in front, who's in back uh, as you're driving. It's just like a lot to take in. And for that reason, I think I think it goes a step up above Super Circuit, but it's not as honestly. I'm gonna put it above 64, because 64 also feels like very streamlined. Like, okay, back to like get the formula right. Here's the game we meant to make when we were making Super Mario Kart. Uh, okay, I feel good about this. I feel good about this. All right, please uh, bear with me while I set up Mario Kart DS. Anyway, back to my thought about Mario Kart Wii. I wonder if that game was hated so much. I remember it being hated specifically because it was difficult. I wonder if that was the thing. Here we go.
Welcome. To Mario Kart DS. For the DS. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> this is the game that got me to buy a Wi-Fi router. Same, actually. I upgraded my Wi-Fi router as a kid. I begged my dad <laughs> to uh, let me spend my money. My, like, birthday money or something on a, on a new router for the house so I could play more Mario Kart DS online. Alright, let's play it. I love this game. I've been, like, truly, dear viewers, I've been playing this game, like, non-stop for the past couple days. This is, like, all I've been doing. Alright. Gotta continue being Luigi. Start at the beginning. Great courses, like really good courses in this one. Oh yeah, this, this one has drifting in it. I mean, drafting and drifting. Drifting and drafting. The drift draft continuum. I mean, it's just like a meat, like truly, it just feels so good. And I, I gotta be totally honest, never has there been a starker comparison in my life between Mario Kart games as right now. Playing all of them back to back actually is illuminating a lot for me. <laughs> this game just feels amazing by comparison. Drift boost, really good. I can't believe Toad's this far ahead though. Toad's just really fast, that's Toad's whole deal. Oh my god, I actually thought that was gonna hit for a second. That would've been amazing. It's wild that the Wii one was so disliked. This is my intro to Mario Kart. Also Mario Kart we played in college. Oh shit. It's like 90% of my Mario Kart experience. I get that. I play I look, I played my fair share of the Wii one. Also. I had a Nintendo Wii. I liked it a lot. Pretty much everybody I knew had a Wii. At some point or another. Um Inevitably, Knights would always lead to Mario Kart. Or Super Smash Brothers Brawl, which also nobody liked really. But I, I liked Brawl enough. That was great. That was a great ending. Look at that. I'm the only normie that made my, uh, my name not all caps. Very norm core of me. I think it's because I'm watching too much Frasier. I've been watching Frasier a lot recently. Oh, too early. Shit. I can't believe I just said the word normie out loud. I think the first time I've ever in my life said that out loud. <laughs> Should I watch Frasier? Look, I don't... I don't know if I'd recommend Frasier, but if you're looking for, like, specifically that kind of show to watch, uh, you know, it's, like, really good background fodder. Like, I've been watching Frasier and playing Mario Kart DS, like, a lot this week.
The thing about Frasier is that uh, if you've watched Cheers, then apparently Frasier's great. I have not watched Cheers. I have, I just skipped right to Frasier. The whole thing about Frasier on Cheers as a character is that he's he's like a character that they bring on to like purely make fun of because he's like extremely pretentious. It's kind of the whole thing. And then they made a whole show about just that guy being pretentious. And the setup is it's it's Frasier in his house. He's a radio he's a radio show host in Seattle. His dad moves in. His dad's like very like normal dude. Uh you know, like boomer territory. Maybe whatever generation was above that. Um you know, so you have that comparison between like, okay, so so whenever Fraser's talking to his dad, it's very much like it was on Cheers, where everybody's like, oh, look at this guy, he's uh, referencing Vivaldi in conversation. Uh, but then they also like one of the other main characters is Fraser's brother, who is even more pretentious than Fraser is. Which is kind of the brilliance of the show, because they make Frasier look normal whenever his brother is around. And that's kind of brilliant. It works way better than it has any right to. IMO. Ugh. I wanted, like, the kill so bad that I just whiffed it. Went right into the wall. Okay. Let's see. All right, water's going out. That's good. It's helpful. I haven't seen a blue shell hit, which is making me nervous. Oh! That's bad. Um, Frasier's dad also gets a, a live-in, like, helper. Uh, whose name, she's, she's British, and her name is, she's from, I think, actually from Liverpool. And her name is, uh, Daphne Moon. And she's psychic. And that all sounds like a goof that I'm doing to prank you. Dear viewers who haven't seen Frasier, I promise you it's not. Not a prank. Actually, there's a real character named Daphne Moon who is psychic on the show. And everyone's just like, oh, Daphne. It's funny that she's psychic. Anyway, I'm almost on with season one of Frasier, and uh, I'm enjoying it. And it's great for watching while I play Mario Kart DS. Or Dragon Quest, which I've also been playing a lot of. Yeah, uh, it's a it's a cheer spinoff. They were uh, Fraser and his wife were characters in Cheers, uh, another sitcom that was on for a long time. With Ted Danson and uh, just like a billion people. Ray Perlman was in it. Um, and, uh, takes place in Boston. Frazier and his wife would show up every once in a while. I don't know if their kid was involved in that. They have a kid that they allude to a lot on Frazier. Um, but the, the conceit of Frazier, the TV show, is that he and his wife divorced. Not very amicably. Uh, and he lost custody of his kid and moved to Seattle. Uh, and he's a he's a talk show host where he has a he has a radio show where he gives people um, essentially therapy over the phone on the radio because he's a licensed therapist. It's wild. That sounded like a blue shell if I've ever heard one. Yeah, there it is. 
that was a really great timing for that blue shell. That was very helpful for me. Dude, 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 dude. Yes! Oh my god, there's another lap. <laughs> this race is so long. We had a talk show host like that for real and some wild calls happen. I'm sure. I'm actually amazed that that's even allowed. Weirdly. Like, that, that feels to me like something that they wouldn't allow actually on the radio. Like... There'd be some kind of law against it, but I guess not. It's the conceit of a hugely popular 90s sitcom. Apparently happened in real life where the Sioux 01 lives. Oh, I should have saved that banana. There we go. All right, we're good. We're good. So, okay. Getting into Fraser discourse. The thing is that his brother that I mentioned is also a licensed therapist who is constantly, because he's more pretentious than Fraser, is constantly putting Fraser down for being like a like an entertainment therapist. Uh, and is like, you could actually be helping people, but instead you host this radio show. Uh, I'm going to do another cup, because I, I like this game <laughs> a lot. Um, which is... Uh, it's interesting. It's very interesting. So it kind of alludes to it. Like, the, the show kind of knows that maybe it's not, like, the best. Uh, and yet... That is the situation. All right. I'm just shocked by how good this game feels in comparison to all of the other ones I've played up until now. There's a reason, like, I've been talking to a lot of people about Mario Kart DS this week. There's a reason every time I bring it up, everyone I know has played it and not only have they played it but when they talk about it it's like oh man you couldn't stop me from playing that game like Mario Kart DS was like a problem for people is what it sounds like oh man yeah it hit and then I was, I was hoping that it would hit and then she dropped down and the red shell would hit that'd be really great Oh yeah, Dr. Phil. I forgot that Dr. Phil exists. That guy sucks. He and uh He and Steve Harvey have been trying to do some like uh I don't know, like PR like image repair stuff recently I've noticed. Uh Dr. Phil's been on TikTok a lot. Trying to like fix up his image with the youth. Being like, oh yeah, Dr. Phil, he's a legend. He's been on TV forever. And not like, oh, he's a wildly problematic dude. And Same with Steve Harvey. Has been doing, like, fit checks on Twitter or something. Beautiful, beautiful. This, the game is just, like, really pretty, too. For a Nintendo DS game. Which I've been playing a bunch of recently. Obviously, because I got my Nintendo DSi from eBay. Uh, not all games on the Nintendo DS look this good. Probably unsurprisingly.
I gotta be honest, too. Playing this game with uh, headphones on, hearing the music in beautiful stereo. Oh, wow. That was cold from Peach. That was pretty shocking. I did see an article today about how, uh, how, like, cassette tapes are, like, really in, in the way that vinyl was really in. Or, like, continues to be really in, like, cassette tapes are coming back, which, like... I feel I feel multiple ways about it. so like look, I was in the uh, New Jersey indie rock scene in the early 2010s. We were making cassette tapes of our singles. That was the thing that was happening then. Um, but they're like genuinely having a comeback, like mass produced for like huge pop stars nowadays. Which I find very interesting because they like true like we even knew that as we were making them because we kind of made them as a goof and passed them around as a goof, but like they sound like shit. <laughs> like they sound really bad. All right, all right. Oh my! Um. Oh, look. Vinyl sounds good. Like, vinyl sounds better than most stuff. Truly. Uh, I like vinyl. There's a Hollow Knight soundtrack vinyl right behind me. Um, I have a bunch. I have a record player. Big speakers, you know? Like, it's fun to listen to stuff on vinyl. It's, like, it's like genuinely fun. And that's that's... It's wild that this level exists. Um, that's genuinely the thing about cassettes that I understand. Like, I think they collect really well because they look nice. Like, the little tiny box is, like, actually kind of cool. Um, and it is, like, kind of fun to just, like, pop it into a Walkman or something. Walk around with it. Um, but I could never see myself doing that. I'm not gonna like hate on somebody for wanting to have fun, obviously. But uh I have been surprised at the re rise of cassettes. Rewinding sucks. Rewinding does suck. I was thinking the other day, though, I, I do wish that uh, movies on, like, Netflix and Disney Plus and Hulu and Amazon Prime Video, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, still had um, menus. I would love so much to still have, like, DVD menus. I know that's, like, really silly. Like, most people would rather just watch the fucking movie <laughs> and or TV show, but... I think it would be really fun. That shell actually kind of saved me, in a way. I mean, ideally you don't hit anything, but... Yeah, I'll be interested to see when uh, the CD player comes back. Because as far as I can tell from, like, a fashion perspective, I mean, we are, like, fully... Depending on who you follow on the internet, like we are fully in Y2K plus a couple years era throwback right now, which is like truly the year of the compact disc. Um, and I'm curious, like, who's going to be the first? star wearing like matrix adjacent sunglasses and uh like low rise jeans 
with with like a, a CD version of a Walkman clipped to their clipped to their jeans, you know. CDs were still inconvenient when I was in middle school. Yes. CDs were generally inconvenient. They sounded better than cassettes, though, and that was, I think, a great reason to listen to them. Teens are buying iPhone cases that look like flip phones. Honestly, they're going to be stoked when uh, folding phones just become more the norm outside of just Samsung. I'm so excited. I mean, I've, I've written blog posts about this and stuff, but like, I'm just so excited for phones to be so weird again. I'm waiting for Apple to like get really wild. There are rumors already about um, a folding iPhone, but I think it's a couple years out. Legitimate explosion. Legitimate car highway explosion in this Mario Kart game, I think, just happened. Um, the thing... The thing about buying iPhone cases that look like flip phones... Um, my... My favorite phone that I have never used... And probably will never use unless I buy one... In the same way I just bought a DSi, like... Purely because uh, I've always wanted one. I just thought it was cool and it was $50 on eBay. Uh, and nobody else bid against me. Um, I, I love the Microsoft Surface Duo. I think it's an incredible phone. The thing that I find most interesting about it is kind of the antithesis of what Microsoft wants you to like about it. Microsoft's whole deal with the Surface Duo is that the phone exists to make you more productive because it has two screens and can do two tasks individually. The first version of the Duo didn't have anything on the outside. It was literally just like two slabs of metal. Or it might have been glossy, I don't remember. Um, and a really small camera uh, that like honestly wasn't very good. Um, and what that meant was that when you weren't using the phone, all you had to do was close it and put it down and you wouldn't have to think about it again until you personally went and opened it back up. There wasn't a front-facing screen showing you notifications, showing you the time uh, with, like, a, a notification LED. No no way of telling you that a service you downloaded or a company that made an app that you have on your phone wants to notify you of something and wants you to use the phone even though you are not in a place mentally where you want to be using the phone. The Surface Duo got out of its own way in the physical design of the thing. So when you were done using it, you put it down and you were the person who decided to use it next. And I love that about it. Um, then they made a Surface Duo 2 and it now has a little tiny screen on the hinge that shows you notifications and the time and all that kind of stuff. So they kind of kind of uh, dunked on it. Which is sad to me. Look at that. That's great. This reminds me of a TikTok I saw the other day from somebody who predicts cultural trends for a living, and they're anticipating the resurgence of like early, early 2000s indie grunge. I mean, sign me the fuck up. I'm down for that. That's Mario Kart DS. That was a fun, that was a fun little showcase of that one. Let's uh head back to our ranking. All right. I went into this stream expecting that Mario Kart DS was going to be towards the top of this list. I am now thinking that it's probably only slightly harder than Mario Kart Super Circuit. I should probably remove these because I won't be playing them. Um, 
No Mario Kart Tour. Here's the thing. Look, I'll throw Mario Kart Tour in here. I don't even have to play it on stream. To tell you that it goes here. Here's the thing about Mario Kart Tour. Slightly harder than Super Circuit, which I think is very easy. The thing about Mario Kart Tour is that you really only play it against other people, and other people are good at Mario Kart Tour. If you weren't playing it against other people, I think it'd be maybe the easiest Mario Kart game. I'm putting it up one spot because you can only play multiplayer, and everybody's very good at it. All right. Last but not least. Goodbye, Mario Kart DS. All right. Oh, I collected 800 coins. Great. Let's play single player. All right, Grand Prix. 100 CC. I generally only play as Waluigi or Rosalina. But for the sake of science, we'll stick with Luigi. What do we get though? I don't want that. I'm a bike guy in these games. It might be weird, I'm not really sure. Should we start with Baby Park? I do like that we can just go through all the levels that we've played already. But in sparkling new renditions. Uh, no, we, we, we should play something original to this one. Uh, I don't know. I feel I feel like I've been doing the the mushroom cup on all of them. So, all right. Okay. I think this is still maybe like top five best looking Nintendo Switch games. It is just stunning that they made it look this good. Especially wild, considering it's a Wii U game. So my, my history with this game is uh, I played the Wii U game pretty much every day. Period. I played this game pretty much every day. <laughs> uh, for the entirety, I mean, from like the minute it came out onward, um, I would play this game almost nonstop. online um, like any time I wasn't working. Like I would come home from work and then I would just continue play this, playing this game. I love it so deeply. It is so obviously the best Mario Kart game. It's like not really that much of a competition. Like if you're just ranking these games by like which one is the best one, it's a fight for two through whatever, two through eight, I guess. Uh, but oh, 
Oh god, there's my my one big caveat is the thing that's happening right now, which is that when you are this far in first place, they just continue pelting you with blue shells. And you can escape from them, which is great. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I love that there's like a methodology for escaping from blue shells, but uh, it's hard to pull off. You have to have a certain item, and you're generally not going to get those specific items that you need, which are the mushroom and what's the other one? The horn. The mega horn. Uh, probably not going to get that stuff if you're in first place. It's difficult. It's difficult to get that stuff. Uh, play online with chat after. I'm probably gonna probably gonna split after, if I'm being totally honest. I like finished work and then immediately started doing this stream. I think I'm gonna like eat dinner and sit on the couch. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll play Voice of Cards, the new Yoko Taro game which I started earlier today and didn't really make it past the tutorial. I'm excited to play that. We have a real ragtag group of uh, games to talk about on Sunday's episode, or the episode we record on Sunday for Wednesday, which I'm really excited about. Um, those of you here in chat are... Oh, look at that. I got the thing I needed. Uh, those of you here in chat are getting a little bit of a spoiler of it all that a lot of it it's gonna be about at least on my end it's gonna be about mario kart and the nintendo dsi and why i picked one up and why i love it so much um the voice of cards is also gonna be there I'm trying to think there was something else okay wait a second wait a second there it is Voice of Cards is out. Came out uh, yesterday. And uh, is spectacular. Spectacular game. Pretty quickly. It's uh, pretty shockingly good. Uh, I love the demo. And then was a little bit like, oh, man, like I, I don't know how much I'm going to like love going through the demo content again. Uh, the main game, different than the demo. Which I wasn't expecting. So th this is kind of what I'm talking about as far as, like, well, I mean, it's, it's like, it has all the same, like, mechanics and stuff as the main game. It's, like, it's like giving you uh, a little amuse-bouche of what the game is going to be like instead of, like, just actually putting you in the actual game that you'll be playing. So it's, like, here's all the characters you're going to meet. Like, here's, like, a little, like, example quest that you would go on. Um, it's cool. It's good. I like it. Uh, oh, the other game I was going to talk about, Pikmin Bloom, I've been playing this week. It's probably the other thing I'm going to bring to the show, which I'm excited about, because uh, I love Pikmin Bloom so far. Especially compared to the other Niantic joints that they've made, Pokemon Go and the uh, very short-lived, but I think still active Harry Potter one. I played for about a week uh, just to bring to the show and then dropped. But Pikmin Bloom, I like actually could see myself continuing to play. Um, Steven's bringing a bunch of fun stuff too, which I'm excited about. He's also streaming a bunch. That's probably worth mentioning. Um, we're streaming like kind of not all weekend, you know, not like, you know, not the whole time, but like we have stuff scheduled for all three days of the weekend. Uh, this existing as day one of the weekend, which I know I guess technically doesn't. But anyway, um, this is the first stream. Steven's going to be back tomorrow. He's going to stream a bunch tomorrow. Uh, he's going to be playing more Oblivion, which I'm excited about. And then I think Resident Evil Code Veronica? 
is the name of it. Um, which is cool. And then on Sunday, which is Halloween, I'm getting a haircut, finally, after literally months of trying to get a haircut. Um, and uh, AJ's gonna join us and we're gonna play Back for Blood, um, which Steven and, I, Steven and I have already played together and talked about on the show, but I mean, playing it together was like, oh my God, this is like great stream game as Left 4 Dead always was. It's kind of like an obvious one. Um, and uh, we wanted to get AJ on. And we're gonna. And I'm excited about it. That's gonna be really fun. All right. I mean, look at how far ahead I am of everybody else. This is how, like, truly, I mentioned this before, this is the only one that I, I would say I'm good at. Um, I, th this just feels like unfair. This, this is why I, I don't feel like I can like actually really objectively rank this game at all. See you, Kim. Thanks for joining. And have a good night. Makes me sad. Back for Blood doesn't have bond support. Yeah, was that a big thing with Left 4 Dead? I, I was never in the uh, Left 4 Dead like mod scene because uh, I always played that game on Xbox 360 with my friends. All right, last race. So many horrible memories of this map. This level in particular, I feel like, if I'm ever playing it online, is like always where disaster happens. So, so many of these little choices you have to make can like really set you up in failure. Had some good fan-made campaigns. That's cool. I had no idea. That's awesome though. Who knows, maybe, I mean, look. Maybe that stuff does end up on PC one day. I could see it, if that was like a big part of uh, the original Left 4 Dead scene. Because it seems like the team is pretty, uh, pretty adamant about like recapturing that magic in a way. Um, which also kind of gives me hope that that stuff might end up on Xbox, because there's like precedent for mods ending up on Xbox games. Uh, considering they have a good enough deal with Turtle Rock Studios to get the thing on Game Pass at launch. Wow. Pretty in the bag. It's gonna hit me. You know what? Let's do it here so I can at least get an item after. These are the kind of strategies you pull off when you're very confident. Oh. <laughs> Very silly. All right. We're almost there. All right, look, I, I have almost caught up to Donkey Kong in this case. Mushroom. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe outside of it's the best Mario Kart, and it also, I think, might be the easiest.
It's interesting. It's very interesting. All right. Let's uh, hop over to our cart ranking. Save changes. View the list. All right. Super Mario Kart. Mario Kart Double Dash. I think I think I feel I think I feel pretty confident in, in these choices. Super Mario Kart is difficult by virtue of I think just its age. Uh, they hadn't they hadn't quite nailed it in terms of uh, how the game should like feel mechanically. They almost got there. I mean, they had enough of a blueprint to make it work in Mario Kart 64 really well. Um, but revisiting it especially knowing what comes after and loving what comes after uh super mario kart is easily the hardest of these mario kart double dash i think is just hard because they kind of overstuffed it with ideas unfortunately Two people per cart, swapping constantly, all the different items you get. Uh, there's just a lot going on there. Um, and then they also got, just remembering some stuff, they also got pretty ambitious with some of the levels. So, like, needing to manage uh, complex levels on top of complex mechanics is a, a recipe for difficulty. Um, followed up by Mario Kart 64... Which is kind of like an even keel. Like, it actually just feels like the middle placement, even though it's number three on the list. Um, Mario Kart DS I've been having a hard time with this week, but also, I mean, I just kind of tuned out and played it without thinking for 20 minutes or so tonight. So maybe it's not as hard as I thought. Um, maybe I've just been getting some bad RNG and it's sticking with me. Um Mario Kart Tour, as I mentioned, everybody online is just good at it and uh, has been playing more than you, and uh, they unlocked everything uh, and all the different characters. Super Circuit, pretty easy. Again, kind of mindless experience. Uh, Mario Kart Deluxe, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, also for me, wildly easy. Aside from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Mario Kart DS, since you've already... Uh, played a fair amount. Do you feel the urge to go back and play more of any of the other games? Uh, yeah, 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 totally. Um, Mario Kart 64, I'm excited to play online if they like fix the way online works. Um, I've heard not great things. Um, and uh, and Double Dash, I do go back and revisit every once in a while. Um, I like Double Dash. That used to be my favorite for a long time. Um, and then Mario Kart 8 came out and was like, nah, that's probably the one. Uh, and DS is really given Double Dash a run for its money as well for that number two spot. Um, and Super Circuit, I played a shitload of for the Game Boy Advance bonus. Um, did that make it to my... I mean, it had to have been in my top ten somewhere. Hang on. Let me open that up. Yeah, it was number ten. But, uh, that, I mean, that was like a go-to. It was like that and uh, Mario Golf Advance Tour. We, we prepped for that episode for about six months. I think it was about six months. Um, and I would say the games I played the most of all of them were these two. Um, I would just open up and like do a round of golf or I would open up and like do one race and then bail uh, more often than not. Um, and uh, I, I still will continue to do that probably. Um, yeah. So here's the thing. I'm going to try and find a way before Sunday, before we record on Sunday, to play Mario Kart Wii. Um, and I'll go play Mario Kart 7 again on my 3DS. And... Um, See where that lands for me. I don't... The thing about Mario Kart 7 is I don't have a real memory of it. I have it. I've played it. I think I liked it. But I don't remember it, <laughs> like, at all. Uh, so I'll be interested to play that. Uh, and the Wii one, if I can get it running, will be uh, a a an interesting experience. Um, but all that having been said, that's going to be it for me tonight. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. A little glimpse into what my nights are like when I am prepping for this show. Uh, pretty cool. And, you know, continue to tune in throughout the week. Uh, make sure you're 
following this uh, page on Twitch, twitch.tv slash into the cast. Um, go to into the cast online to listen to the show. If you're watching on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, baby, all that interaction helps. Um, and uh, we're going to have a lot more stuff this weekend and going forward. So stay tuned. Cool. I'm going to go. Goodbye. <laughs>